Praise Master Jesus. Our Lord is good all the time. Jesus is the King of glory. Jesus is our restorer. In the book of joy, he said, Whatsoever, the Kakawama city, the Pamawo, the grasshopper. He said, Whatsoever they are fitting, him he is the God of restoration. He will restore. Praise the Lord. Today, our scripture reading will be taken from the book of Second King, chapter 8, from verse 1 to 8. This woman that Elijah raised up his dead son, Elisha called him. He said, The Lord God has revealed it unto me that there will be famine. You know what? Don't stay in this country. Don't stay in this village. Go somewhere else. The Lord God will take care of you. The poor widow listening and his sojourn in the land of the Philistine. He said, go to anywhere. Wherever you are, the Lord God will take care of you over there. Praise the Lord. Our God is a restorer. All what you have lost in the name of Jesus, he will restore it back unto you. A million fold. If you believe, say amen. This woman, according to the word of Elisha, he went to the land of, of, of the Philistines and he sojourned there for seven years. And there was great famine in the land of Israel. When he left his husband's land, everything that belonged to the husband, the king took it over. When she came back after seven years, According to the word of the prophet Elisha, she came back and met that everything has been taken away from her. At this particular time, uh, Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, was telling the king how Elisha raised up this woman unknowingly. He was just telling the story to the king how Elisha raised up his son. And at that particular moment, the woman came in and said, King, please, I came to you now. I want my land to be restored. Then Elisha confirmed, he said, This is the woman that the Gehazi confirmed it and said, This is the woman that Elisha raised the son from the dead. The king said, all what that the land has seeded for these past seven years, every crop, every seed, every animal they have taken away, he mandated them to be restored back to this woman. Praise the Lord. Our Lord is good. Our God is a restorer. Today I pray that whatsoever the Kanka one, the Pama one, they are fitting. The Lord God will restore in the name of Jesus Christ. And we should always pray that God should raise up good intercessor on our behalf that we stand in the gap. Gaza, stand in the gap of this woman. Without even knowing, stood in the gap and said, Well, of her to the king. And God planned it in his divinity. God planned the sin. And the woman came up at that very particular time. I said, King, I want all what has been taken away from me to be restored. I want my husband's land back. I want my feet back. I want my livestock back. I want my seed back. Pray for your divine helper. Pray that at a particular time of need, somebody will stand in the gap for you without knowing it. I start bombarding evil. I start saying good things before the king, before the queen, and that will be released unto you. Sometimes we miss our blessing because you are not, you are not in that rightful position. To really collect what the Lord God has prepared for you. This woman was ready at that particular time that is that her word was being spoken to the to the king. 
he, she came in and said, King, I want my land to be restored back unto me. You can see the connection. She was in the right position. And somebody was saying good things of her. How Elisha raised up the son from the dead. And the king restored everything back. Our God is a God of restoration. Our God is a God when he say, I will do it, I will do it. If you believe today, stand and say, Father, whatsoever that the wicked one has taken from me, Baba, double. I need restoration. The Lord God will restore. But sometimes we don't even ask. You know that somebody has stolen from you. The wicked one has stolen from you. Ah, my dear. Our God is good. The scripture is written for me, for you. So that when in a time like this, we will demand, Satan, you must return it. It doesn't belong unto you. Divine restoration. This woman was being restored back. The king said, I mandated you now. Go, tell so, 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 so person in charge. Tell him or her to restore back this woman property back unto her. The devil has stolen from you for a long time. How do, what do you do? Do you go about complaining? Or as a soldier of Christ, you demand, say release it. If you don't release it, I will command the ground to open up his mouth and swallow you in the order of faith. And before the ground swallow you, you know what? You will release my virtue. You will release my blessing. Because that is the word of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Praise, praise, praise Master Jesus. As a child of God, we should not be mesmerized by the wicked one. Let us be the, on the offensive. We should be the one that mesmerized the wicked one. Anything that he has stolen from you, right from today, go stand your ground. I said, I demand hundred fold of feet. You must release it. And you will start being released. It's spiritual. The spirit controlled the physical. Gahaza was there to intercede on behalf of this woman without knowing it. The more you intercede for people you don't even know, the more the Lord God to will raise up intercession on your behalf to be interceding for you. How many people have you prayed for? This day we pray selfish prayer. Me, 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 and me alone. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Our God is God that restore. Is it your marriage falling apart? Tell God to restore it. Is it your children? Tell God to restore them. Is it your business? Tell God. Is it your finances? There are many things the devil attacked this day. Go. The woman went and met the king and demanded for what belonged to her and they were restored confront satan confront him say that you have taken it enough is enough it is time i need it back give it to me the bible says christ went to hell and stayed there for three days and collected the key of hell from satan so I Christ said, the key belongs to me. You can go and meet whosoever is in charge of that thing and demanded for restoration. Give it to me. Say, in the name of Jesus, I command you to give me that key. You will see it. It will drop on your hand. Our God is a restorer. Our God will restore you. My God will restore your children. He will restore your husband. He will restore your marriage. He will restore your finance. He will restore you spiritually and physically. And you will be the soldier that the Lord God has made you to be. Just like that woman, that Shunanite woman, she went and met the king. He said, God, I need all what has been taken from me. I want them back. And the king gave it. Some of us will not even ask. We just be complaining. We just be talking. Oh, 
No, stop complaining. Tell it to God. I was in my kitchen two days ago. I just said the spirit. He said, don't complain on don't complain on anything, but pray over everything, confirming the word of the Lord in the book of Thessalonians. The, the Lord God said, in everything, we should give him thanks. In everything, we should lift it up in prayer and call on him. Instead of us complaining, how have you lifted up your petition before God? How have you lifted up your prayer before God? In thanksgiving, say, Father, I know that you are going to do it and he will do it. How many times have you lifted up? Instead of you to complain, you lift up your hand. You say, Baba, Lord God, I thank you. Instead of me complaining now, I'm thanking you because I know you have already done it. The Lord God said, it's a restaurant. Jesus is a restaurant and he will restore you in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. If only... Just like that woman that went to the king and demanded for all what has been taken from her and everything was being restored unto her. Thank you for listening. My name is Priscilla Kediri, the virtuous woman. Jesus loves you. So do I. He came so that all what the wicked one has taken from you so that you can take them back. He poured out his life as a libation so that you, you can have it back. Don't be there complaining. Tell it to Jesus. He will restore you. He will restore your family. He will restore your children. All what you have lost, my Lord God will restore them in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on TikTok and on Facebook. My page, David and Priscilla. The Lord God bless you. The Lord God love you. Shalom. Until I come your way again. I am the Vetia Summa Priscilla Kadiri.